We start from the beach, we, we explain people how to snorkel, how, how to feel comfortable, and then we guide them to see the marine life. So sometimes we see octopus, sardines, starfish, different brims. Here on OnSiteTalks.tv, we're talking with different local businesses in Algarve, in south of Portugal. And today we're visiting Zip and Trip. It's a snorkeling experience, which uh, gives you an opportunity to see hidden caves and marine life in Algarve. I'm a marine biologist and a co-founder of Zip and Trip Algarve. So together with my boyfriend, Pedro, we organize different snorkeling experiences here in the Algarve to visit non-touristic caves and different beaches that few people know about. Hello Ines. Hello Augustus. Good morning. Good morning. So what is Zip and Trip? Can you give us like short description? What do you do and okay. what is it? I try. So Zip and Trip is a company owned by me and my boyfriend, Pedro. We studied marine biology and we created this concept with two other friends, Pia and Kenneth. Can you tell what does mean zip and trip, or how this name came up? And okay. it's quite interesting when I hear zip, I imagine the clothes. <laughs> yeah, so. that's exactly the idea. So we designed all the, the, the concept, the tours, we had the program and uh, we needed a name. So we were brainstorming uh, with our friends and this name just popped up. So it's zip to zip the wetsuit and have the trip of your life, zip and trip. So basically what we do is to organize snorkeling experiences to visit non-touristic caves. You know, here in the Algarve there are hundreds of different caves and usually people go always to the same ones, the most famous ones, big, and uh, we found out different caves where the entrance is smaller so the boats cannot go in and that's where we take our clients and we teach them how to snorkel. Basically, to use a mask that allows you to see all the marine life, uh, a tube to breathe and fins to swim. So that's easy and different. You have a marine biology background? Yes. Okay, what does it mean? So basically, me and Pedro, we studied marine biology. Marine biology, it's basically the field of science that studies all the marine life, from the bacteria to the big whale, from the poles to the tropical areas. And uh, you can work with many different things here, but we wanted to do something different. We wanted to push people to discover nature, to experience the ocean. So usually when people look at the sea, it's only a blue layer. They don't mm -hmm. see anything through it. So as marine biologists, we, we want to show them what we love. So what makes you different from other snorkeling services? So basically, you know, snorkeling for a regular person, it means they put a mask and they go to see the fishes. So mm -hmm. what uh, kind of different experience they can get in uh, when they come and snorkel with you? Okay, that's a good question. So usually when people go to snorkel, they start often from a boat and they go to like deep water and they need to jump to the sea uh, from the boat and usually people freak out, they get scared. So what we do is to start from the shore with shallow waters. We have a thick wetsuit, like five millimeters, so people float easily. And we guide them always along the shore, visiting the caves and different beaches. And we share our knowledge with them. We share our passion about the ocean with them. Yeah, I did have a chance to uh, snorkel with you and it was my first time uh, to wear a wetsuit and I was really surprised that you can float and 
I wanted to joke before I went into the water. Hey, Pedro, you didn't ask us uh, if we can swim. And he just said, well, you don't need to know how to <laughs> swim because you can float with this. So exactly. it's really, um, do you get a lot of people who really don't know how to swim or? The well, I cannot recommend that, <laughs> but we, yes, we did have that experience with many people that uh, didn't know how to swim. They only told us when we were near the ocean. Mm -hmm. And honestly, for me, it's one of the best uh, clients that I like to work with because usually they are afraid and we work with small groups. So we teach them to relax, to float, even if they are not swimming, they are just floating. And then that type of people is usually yes, like a, an amazing experience. They just love it. Yeah. She said a small group. What does it mean? How many people? It's always maximum seven people. And uh, we have two guides with them all the time. Seven plus two guides? Plus two guides. It's the maximum group. Maximum. If it's like a private trip, we can organize for a bigger group. But usually seven maximum because we like to help people and uh, yeah, have like more familiar experience. At the very moment, how many different tours do you offer? So we offer two different trips, uh, one near Fugugudu and another one near Alvor, where we are now. And um, the tours, as I told you, we start from the beach, we, we explain people how to snorkel, how, how to feel comfortable, and then we guide them to see the marine life. So sometimes we see octopus, sardines, starfish, different brims, it's always different every day. The mm. ocean shows us different things. And then we guide them to the caves. So both trips have the same idea, but in different ecosystems. And in the end, we have always a uh, picnic at the beach and we also send photos to the clients. Uh, yeah, so you take photos as well. well mm -hmm. So it's interesting additional value you add to yeah. the clients. It's really nice. When I took uh, experience with you also next day even like the same day in the evening i received all the photos it's yes. nice and uh, for what kind of people or clients or tourists you think it's the most exciting experience that's a good question so we work with all type of people really kids from four years years old because we also take uh, like boards that they can uh, hold on to so we are used to work with kids and we also worked with uh, people that were 70 years old and they never snorkeled before. So that's really our goal is to promote like an easy experience to everyone uh, without any previous uh, experience. So honestly, I love to work with families uh, because usually the parents bring the kids and the dynamic created during the tour between the family is really nice to see. The kids get happy, they have a different interaction with the parents and they create uh, really special memories. And uh, can you tell me what is included in the tour? So in every tour we provide the equipment, everything. We also provide uh, photos of the trip and a picnic that we offer in the end when we finish at the beach. Your activity feels like it's maybe summer activity, but do you uh, provide uh, these tours during like a bit colder times of the year? Let's say in autumn, in November, like what's your schedule? Yeah, we work almost all year round uh, because with the wetsuits you always feel warm in the ocean. So we work mostly from February until the end of November. Mm. Obviously the high season is during summer, but we do work during spring and autumn. We only stop during winter because we, the ocean gets more rough. So that's our break, it's winter time. And uh, final question, do you, what is your future vision for a zip and trip? That's a good question. Um, we want just to, to keep it familiar uh, and keep on working with the same concepts. We don't want to be like a big uh, company like the other ones because what we love is to make friends with people, connect with them. So we have the plan to organize different snorkeling trips to, to show people different sites as we have clients that come every year to snorkel with us. We want to show them different areas but keep the same idea. Yeah. So anyone who is interested to get snorkeling experience with Zip and Trip with Ines and her partner Pedro, check the links below in the description of this video. Thank you Ines. Thank and you bye. very much Augustus.